Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to discuss about the functional interface is called by consumer. So if you uh, go to the JDK and if you try to find by pressing Ctrl Shift T and by name is called by consumer, then you'll find uh, this functional interface is available in uh, java.util.com function interface so this interface contains lot of functional interface in this uh, package all interfaces are functional one so very first interface is called that is very first is by consumer so i'm going to show you uh, i mean how we can make use of this by consumer uh, functional interface so by consumer is a java 8 functional interface by consumer does not return value it accepts <coughs> it accepts uh, two parameter as a, an argument by consumer functional interface is, is called accept right which accepts two parameter so these are the two parameter and that is the generic one this method performs the operation defined by the by consumer right to and this interface has also one one of the default method right and then but there is only one abstract method that's why this is called functional interface and this interface is annotated as a other functional interface so to make use of this interface i'm going to create a map which is having a key and value uh, parameter and we'll try to print key and value using this interface so let's go ahead and create a, a map with key as integer and value as a string and here say map equal to map is an interface so there are a lot of implementer of map one of the implementer is called hash map so here i'm going to take hash map press ctrl shift o for organize import now i'm going to add some value in this map so we have a poop method and key i'm going to specify one value as a similarly i'm going to add some more fields two three d and c you can add as much as element you want but i have just added three elements now i'm going to use by consumer so by consumer and by consumer uh, asking you to supply two input parameter so two input to parameter i'm going to supply this two and here i would say by consumer equal to here by consumer here i'm going to write lambda expressions if you don't know how to write lambda expression then i will request you to go and watch my previous video tutorial there i have shown how to write lambda expression so basically this uh, this by consumer has a one method right which is called accept so you don't need to specify return type and method name to define this uh, to define a lambda expression for this method only you need to define a, these two parameters so that i am going to define in bracket k is the key and v is the value and here after that i am going to specify system dot out dot print and here i'm going to render key as k and just i want to separate key with value with tab and value with v and that's it we have defined lambda expression for by consumer in single line so 
a lambda expression nothing but you are going to define a method right so this is a behavior itself so behavior we have defined as a statement now uh, i'm going to i want to iterate this method using for each loop which is introduced in the jdk 1.8 so see here for each when i apply for each when i'm trying to apply for each loop on map then saying this for each if for each is asking me to supply object of by consumer so this here is our by consumer so here we can supply it and if i run it then this by consumer is getting called for every elements or every entry in this map and element will be displayed all entry will be displayed so here we got the value so i hope you understood how to define how how, to, how we can make use of the by consumer now we can i mean refactor this code so what we have done in first line what i have done i have defined lambda expression right and i have given the name by consumer and that by consumer i am passing over here so basically run time this value is getting substituted by this so directly this value you can write over here right so this line i'm going to comment and this right side value i'm going to directly write inside the for each so so this is simplified one right so i have refactored still this is working fine right so here we have seen how to define how to make use of the by consumer functional interface so here basically key and value both we have uh, key we have taken as a wrapper class object and and value we have taken as a string object but here you can key and value you can have a custom object as well and this will work as the similar fashion how uh, how it is working for the integer and a string so i will recommend you to go and try to do the same for the custom data type as well so here i am going to do uh, same for a custom data type so here let's create a one class is called a student and package model and i would say student and i'm going to add only two fields for simplicity string name sorry name and private long phone number and we are going to create a constructor by passing these two fields and public getter method or directly we can overwrite to a string method so that we can print object of object of a state in nice format and here we were supposed to give semicolon so it's a simple model class which contains two private fields uh, i have overridden two string method and just i have created a constructor now here i'm going to create another map key i'm taking as integer and value i'm going to taking as a student and again this to map student map equal to i'm going to take hash map over here and in this hash map we can add this we will have to import because a student i have created in another package now let's let's put few elements over here so suppose a student id i am putting as integer and here value is a student itself so student i'm going to give martin and phone number just specify some fake phone number so long similarly add few more elements so for simplicity just i'm going to add two elements friend and specify phone number something like this and let's iterate this map using for each loop so for each 
and here you have a directly I'm going to write lambda expression inside this so k k is a stand for key and you have a v now lambda expression sign inside this you have a system dot out dot print again and I would say again key sorry key you have a key and key and value I want to separate with tab and value I would say sorry I'm going to as sorry uh, value v key and I've left this key and value and if I iterate it so this is output from the first map and this is the output from the second map so successfully we got the output for the second map I here in second case we have used we have made use of the custom data type so here value I have uh, taken as a custom data type and key as a wrapper class object but key and value also you can take as a custom data type so I hope you enjoyed learning and you understood how we can make use of the by consumer uh, functional interface so that's all I have in this video tutorial in next video tutorial, I am going to explore some more functional interface. So please be with me over there. And thanks for watching.